Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech and welcome back to my channel. And today we will be installing DaVinci Resolve on Pop! OS 1910. So let's get started. Now, if you guys didn't know, DaVinci Resolve is a professional grade editor, which is also free and there's a studio mode. And it's comparable to Adobe CC products. Basically, it has almost all the features like uh, Adobe After Effects, Adobe Premiere, it, it's Fairlight and also their editor. But what DaVinci Resolve was mainly known for was color grading. Anyway, I'm not gonna get too much into this application itself. It's just, this is the install process. But I would recommend if you need a professional grade editor other than KDEN Live and OpenShot, I would check out DaVinci Resolve. On my setup, I am using a Lenovo IdeaPad S530 with an NVIDIA MX150 graphic card and an 8th gen i5. Now, if you got a particular setup that has like an AMD graphic card or a different type of NVIDIA and it's not working, you're gonna have to Google that because it's very particular with the drivers itself. Luckily for us on Pop! OS, it does install the latest drivers and there's not much work for me to do to get the drivers working, so. Yeah, to jump into it, you can head over to my website and my website actually have a full written up tutorial on how to get DaVinci Resolve installed. And basically that's what I'm gonna be walking through with you guys. And the first thing we need to download is obviously DaVinci Resolve. So if you hit download button, there's two versions, a light version and a studio version. Now keep in mind, if you are installing studio version, Serial keys don't work for Ubuntu. You're gonna to need to use that USB dongle just to activate it. But if you are on CentOS or Red Hat, the dongle, uh, the, the serial key should work. Otherwise, I am gonna be using the light version. So you hit Linux over here, and you're gonna fill in your information and hit the download button. Now I already did this, so I actually have it pre-downloaded. Next up, we're gonna to need to download the script made from Daniel Tufvison. I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm saying that correctly. And once you download this script, he'd he done an amazing job to convert the run file or the setup file from DaVinci Resolve into a dev file that you can install Ubuntu. Now, once you download this, which I already have, uh, we got to move on to the next one, which is installing uh, libssl 1.0. Now, in Ubuntu, I think 19 version and up, 19.4 19.10, it uses uh, libssl 1.1, which is not compatible with DaVinci Resolve. So we have to actually backdate and get an older version. And to do that, we just need to run this command in the terminal. Um, for me, all I have to do is hit, you know, pop up the terminal and paste this command and hit enter and it'll download it for you. Now I already have this pre-downloaded into my downloads folder. So I was just showing you guys a little demo. So I'm gonna switch over to my downloads folder right now. And in here, we're gonna start moving on to getting the dev file uh, created and installing the rest of the stuff. First, let's, let's install libssl. So dpkg-i libssl. So oh, I forgot to use sudo. Or I could have just used sudo bang bang. Once this is installed, we can move on to the next step, which is extracting everything. Now, you're gonna notice that there's three files here. Uh, one obviously was a dev file we just installed. The second is a zip file, which is the DaVinci Resolve, and the third one is a script. So I'm gonna do tar, nope, unzip DaVinci Resolve, and it's gonna deflate that zip file into a run file. And with that run file, you don't have to do anything. Uh, make resolve.deb, the script file, will actually convert that. So that's the next step. All right, now that that's extracted, all I have to do is run make resolve.deb. Now, if I hit enter, it's not gonna run because you need to issue a command, either a studio version or a light version. As I said earlier, I'm gonna be using a light version, so I'm just gonna type in light. Now, this app image will take about, I don't know, roughly 10 to 15 minutes to make, depending on your computer, so I'm just gonna let this run and I'll jump back into this as soon as this is finished. All right, now that it's done, you will get this new file called De DaVinci Resolved and then whatever .deb. And all you have to do is sudo dpkg-i DaVinci Resolve. Hitting tab will autocomplete and then it'll finish the file. Once you hit enter, it's gonna install this and you're basically all set. It will actually have a new menu in the icon that's DaVinci Resolve. Now I already pre-did this while I was testing, but I have it installed and all you have to do is just run it. Here we have it guys, the menu. And once you start it up, that's your editor. Now, you might have noticed there's no title bar up here or anything, so you can't really like move it. So you, in order to move the window, you need to hit and hold down the Windows key and you could drag it however you want. And that works for all windows. So it's not just uh, this 
it's not just a DaVinci thing. It's it's a, a Linux thing that you're allowed to do that. So another thing about this is because we're using the light version, it doesn't support H.264 right off the bat. You need to convert your video files. So if you go over to my website, on the bottom I have two scripts. One to transcode an individual file that you could just change like the input or a batch can transcoding where this, if you drop this command into a terminal, it will automatically convert anything that's MP4 into in that folder. So I already did this. So I'm gonna head over to my video folder and drop one of my converted files over. And you're gonna see it works pretty well actually. Now I'm gonna drop this in here. I'm gonna change the frame rate because that was, this is actually one of my Linux video gaming videos that I'm making for my other channel. And yeah, that's it. Scrubbing works. You can see everything. I could cut the timeline. I could edit whatever I want to edit, make it, you know, change the opacity. I don't know. Stuff like that. It does work, the editor. And that's it. If you guys like this video, please hit that like button. If you guys have any questions about this, uh, I will try to answer you as much as possible. But if you are having issues like installing or anything, best to go into their forms and figure it out because they're not fully supported on Linux. So, they're not fully supported on Ubuntu. So, this is like a workaround to get it working and I can't answer all the questions. I know it works for my setup, but if you have an AMD or something else and another issue comes up, I'm pretty sure I won't be able to help you with that, guys. So if you guys are new to this channel, consider subscribing, also hitting that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is gonna be out. And as I say in my nerd cave, hack till it hurts.